Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. On this video I have this BMW 2 Series 2015 and uh, I'm just going to check the coolant level and percentage of antifreeze in it and also I'm going to top up some screen wash fluid um, getting ready for winter as winter is coming and also we're going to check the oil level. Um, so if you get your bonnet open um, get the door open here down here you have that lever there and then if you pull on that twice that will open your bonnet because mine is already open and then you come to the bonnet here and in this case there won't be anything here because this one's when you pull it twice it just releases the bonnet completely Right, now we're gonna top up some screen wash fluid first. That goes here. So this is the fluid that washes your windscreen with the wiper blades. Um, it is recommended to have the proper fluid because if you haven't got the proper fluid um, and you just put water in there, that water will freeze uh, winter if the temperatures are below certain obviously temperature and then you're not going to have any water coming out to wash your windscreens especially when you're driving in the motorway which then it's just dangerous so you can buy this fluid anywhere you can buy ready mixed and uh, just pour it straight in there um, if you buy the concentrated one, obviously you need to mix it yourself. I normally get concentrated because I um, always using it on all the cars I do. Um, so the other thing is avoid putting fairy liquid or any sort of washing up liquid in there because it, it can also freeze um, and also it can block the jets on your um, the little jets that uh, jet water into the windscreen um, and also it can also be very soapy sometimes and just make a mess of the <laughs> block your windscreen block your your view um, so just get the proper stuff it's cheap enough um, and uh, it's not a big um, uh, deal to get it any any petrol station will have it um, the next thing we're gonna check is the coolant level in this car and the coolant goes in this tank so if you're gonna check it um, make sure your car is either cold or not very hot because if it is very hot um, you can get burnt or whatever but well not whatever it's quite uh, wouldn't be nice but uh, uh, if it's hot just open it very carefully slowly um, to release any pressure that may have built in there uh, from driving but uh, otherwise if it's cold then obviously it's a lot safer to open without any issues um, now in this case i've been uh, running the car for a little while so that was hot maybe you heard that there was some pressure in there so we can open the coolant there and I'm gonna get I mean the coolant cup just gonna get a light here so we can have a look a light will always help you see more or less a bit more um, by shining the light there you I can see the coolant is somewhere around this line here But if you look inside of this tank, you have a max mark there. So when, if the coolant is below that max line there, you will notice a, that that little, uh, bit of plastic there that says max is actually yellow in color 
um, and there's also if you look carefully a bit below the max there's also a mark that says min so I'm trying to get my <laughs> camera here to show you but I think you can just about see the the M there so that would be the minimum and also that would be showing up if you didn't have a coolant it will be like a bright yellow color so if you wear down at the minimum you want to top it up a little bit uh, up to the max you will see once the max mark is covered up with fluid then uh, you will notice how it's no longer a bright yellow color or or a, a color um, so now we establish we have a coolant there the correct level if this was if you notice this tank was empty um, just by shining the lights to it you can see if I shine it there you can see the coolant is up here if this was empty this will look like this type of color like just clear and if it was empty then your car is leaking coolant somewhere and that would need further investigation so we're not dealing with that today we're just dealing with checking that the levels are okay going into winter now this little device here is good for um, you suck some of the coolant into it and then it shows you how much uh, the percentage of antifreeze in it and what sort of temperatures it will withstand and so here i have almost showing minus 25 you can just about see that the little arrow there showing me minus 25 but that means the temperature uh, outside uh, will have to reach b minus 25 to for this coolant to freeze um, so that's a pretty good amount of coolant uh, that we have so we don't need to do anything with that however if you found that your coolant is not um, it's somewhere up here at minus five or not even showing you any then you may have too much water in there which can also means in winter that if, if we reach temperatures of minus five that will freeze the coolant in the engine will freeze and that can cause damage to the engine um, so we want to avoid that make sure you have some coolant in there if you found that you haven't then uh, you may need to drain the system and put a mixture of coolant and water in the system or take it to a garage obviously and have somebody look at it this little device here is also good i just wanted to show you that it sucks the liquid and it also shows you how uh, that liquid is fairly clean um and clear and it's of um, it's got a color like a bluish color in it so you more or less know that your antifreeze in this case scenario is gonna be blue not the orange type so um it's a good little gadget to have made by worth so so that's pretty much it really regarding coolant here there's not much mathematical science to it just uh, check the level and check the percentage and if all is good then happy days i would assume it's fairly good on a car i mean it's not that old well 2015 is seven years old but you wouldn't expect there to be any issues just yet unless you've done a hundred thousand miles or not although this one is quite low mileage so it, it might be a little bit better than than other other cars out there um now the last thing i'm going to check in this car is the oil level 
and just make sure that the oil level is also at a good level so let me get this light okay so we're gonna check the oil capacity now in this particular model as many other BMWs you can check the not the oil capacity sorry the oil level you can check the oil level in the computer inside of the car uh, but this particular one has a dipstick as well so if you get some paper and you pull the dipstick out here I'm just gonna give it a clean and we're gonna have a look at the gauge here so let's check it out here if you have a look at this gauge you will find that there's a uh, two marks one that says minimum and here it says max so i'm expecting the oil to be at the max will be around this bit here that will be the max there this line that will be the minimum there if you found your oil was below the minimum or no oil at all then you definitely want to top up however if you found that it was somewhere here you also want to top up uh, maybe half a liter and see how, how far that takes you you can check your manual your manual will normally tell you how much to put in between the minimum and the maximum um, if you were at the max you're okay you don't need to do anything if you were a little bit below the max somewhere here you're still okay that's uh, where our range where the oil can be but uh, if you're at the minimum then you don't want it to get any lower than that um, so let's have a look at this one so the engine does consume a little bit of oil so that's why we normally um, check the oil quantities inside of the sump okay so I don't know if you can see that but you can see the shiny area here and this is right up here you can just see the shine comes up to here and this oil is quite it's very clean this is a 2 liter and this is a 2 218 um, diesel so we have nice clean oil at the correct level so happy days you can put that back in there and like I said you can also check the oil inside of the car in the computer and just in case all the information I'm giving you is in the manual um, so you have here a page where it says engine compartment and it shows you where the oil goes where the coolant goes where the screen wash fluid goes and also does show you where um, you can jump start the car that's the positive there terminal it says there number four positive terminal um, number five here is starting assistance negative so number five is a negative terminal number four positive and then if you go along here shows you how to open the bonnet tells you about the oil how to check the oil level so in this case scenario is it says that the oil level you can check it in the car vehicle information vehicle status engine oil level um, and then he says if there is too little engine oil within the next 200 kilometers approximately 120 miles top up engine oil uh, too little engine oil immediately top up with engine oil otherwise damage may be caused by the little engine oil so by little I mean they mean um, not enough oil so the level will be like at the minimum as we were saying 
and then it tells you um, how to top up oil you open the oil filler cap which is this one here and you can top up some oil and then it says also shows you engine oil types for topping up um, it does tell you not to put additives but it tells you here the viscosities that you can use 0w40, 0w30, 5w40, 5w30 and approved engine oil types you have those ones there long life but you can use other other types obviously you can use uh, you have here it says for diesel engines ASC C3 so you can have Castro mobile other oils um, if it's a petrol engine you have A3 and B4 that you can buy so Having said all of that, um, I hope this video helps and helps you get ready for winter. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.